Delirium, not to be confused with dementia, um, it is a medical condition. It is recognised, it is separate from dementia. Um, as we know, people with uh, Alzheimer's, etc., do tend to suffer more severely with it. Um, it does need to be identified. I think as the carer at home, you would be very, very aware that there's such a difference between the person that you care for, how they're presenting themselves to how they would normally present themselves. Triggers for delirium can be pain, infection of any kind, not just urine infection, poor nutrition, constipation, dehydration, change of environment. People with dementia are more susceptible to the triggers and therefore are at more risk of developing delirium. We want to educate people to think delirium when asking yourself if the person is agitated and confused or more drowsy than usual. If the answer is yes, a screening tool can be completed, which is called a 480 screen, which may show that they are possible delirium with or without a cognitive impairment. The important thing to know about delirium is it's really, really important to get help soon sooner rather than later. It's no, there's no harm in calling for help and it to be a false alarm rather than waiting until it's very clearly gone too far and becomes a medical emergency with an admission to hospital. Call your GP or call the ambulance and tell them you think somebody may be having a delirium episode. It's a medical emergency and the sooner they get treated, the more likely they are to recover with less damage to their brain. It's really important when you call for help to use the word delirium. That acts as a trigger for medical professionals to take you seriously. And keep saying it until they listen to you. Don't be put off by people saying, don't worry about it, we know about this. Keep asking, keep saying, I think this is delirium, what are you doing about it? And pushing, don't be afraid to be pushy. Dementia United have a website that gives you lots and lots of information about delirium. And indeed they actually have a leaflet about it as well.